Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> what do you, and no camp for. What do you feel? Huh? No, we want to make camp for, but we want to join from you our know, country. We are mm. The classic camp for and the classic road. So mm. we we'll want to connect Master we'll 2000 road. We'll we'll try our best mm. and classic King's Road. I cross the finger for the summit. And we want to attack the summit for classic camp for. But we are not getting bad, but nothing is true. So I don't know. And that's yeah. Wish you all the best. Thank you. And we'll be down here. Waiting for you. We're the summit. We're gonna have party. All the best. Yeah, so you wanna go down? Oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so have a good rest here. Yeah, we are quite better now. We are enjoy your uh, base camp. Because it's warm and uh, it's warm, yeah. yeah it's also warm. it's the first night the first night is difficult and after slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, and our, our camp location isn't really good, so yeah, we were it was really cold outside. And yeah, I know. It was trickling down inside yeah. and we were like all shivering inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're gonna make shift the uh, change the location of the camp, make it a yeah. little better and cozy. You have to make a um, comfortable camp mm -hmm. just for enjoy the moment where it was in shadow. Uh, yeah. And after now, you you have one week good weather, so mm -hmm. you just enjoy the sand when it's sunny. Mm -hmm. So this it is going nice. to be the summit push, right? At, Which are the summit time, push, right? yeah. You're not Which coming back, no. uh, making any deposits. You're done with no, the no, deposits. No, no, we are acclimatized. Our deposit is upstairs. Mm -hmm. Now we try the summit push, but mm -hmm. you know, it's far away. Yeah, so we'll see. We try the summit push now. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. Good luck After to After you have to be lucky also with the window, with the, exactly. with the wind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we are it's just about whether the mountain allows you to come up at the top or yeah. not. You know? We need window without too much strong wind. Mm -hmm. and but also we are ready to fight because you know also if you have you don't have a strong wind you have to fight mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. because it's very cold we are in very high altitude you have less oxygen so we know that uh, yeah, it's a little bit fighting mm -hmm. but you know most of things is on ahead mm -hmm. it is. if you if you are ready you can climb if you are not ready it is. go down mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, more climbing. Mm. <laughs> no, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the diesel engine is ready, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's slow. It's slow. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> okay, we go. Yeah. You have a fan? I have any one? No, I don't know. In fact, you have the phone number, huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay. But you put your phone number to yeah. the phone number. Okay, so go. All right. Good luck. Okay, okay see you. Luck. Ah, it's like you're here. You. <laughs> Stay safe. Yeah, see you in one week. Have fun. Inshallah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, man. It see was an too. honor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. See you in two days, yes? Yeah, sure. With the summit party. Good luck, man. Be careful, okay? Yes, very thank you. Hi and welcome back. Um, today we are going to discuss um, Naga Parbat's first winter ascent um, done in Alpine style back in 2018 by Elizabeth Rivol and Tom Maskovic. And uh, because obviously both of these climbers were uh, stuck at the descent and uh, a comprehensive search and rescue operation was launched to uh, to to salvage these uh, missing climbers. Uh, and back in 2018, because Pakistan Explorer was uh, comprehensively following uh, the updates on this, and we were in contact with a lot of international uh, media outlets as well in this regards. And this was probably this was the kind of rescue operation that actually, for the first time in the history of climbing actually broke the internet. It was one of the most viral search and rescue operation conducted ever in the history of mountaineering. But a lot of people uh, keep asking these questions. Obviously now um, we do understand that officially the, this, the summit success has been registered uh, in the name of uh, Elizabeth Rivol and Tom Maskovic as, uh, as the first alpine style climbers uh, who have scaled the killer mountain Nanga Parbat uh, for the first time in winters. Because uh, there is no documentary proof uh, that these climbers were actually able to reach the summit. There's no uh, photograph or there's no 
video for that matter. Uh, so obviously, uh, logically, a, lo a lot of people ask, it, ask this question as to whether they've been able to reach the summit or not. Um, for, for viewers who are not really, um, who haven't really followed this rescue operation back in the days, uh, we would just quickly go through the, the events that happen um, in these three days uh, of the search and rescue operation. On 24th January 2018, Elizabeth and Tomak uh, re retreated from their summit push uh, and they came back to Camp 3. They have been climbing from the Messner 2000 route, which has been incomplete. Um, Messner was not able to complete this uh, particular route, and they have been following this route, uh, going from the uh, towards the northern side of the the, the Amir face and starting the climb from that side, rather than the Kinshofa route, which is the most um, frequented route on Nagaparbat. At that time, Tomak was not feeling well. There was something wrong. We exactly are not sure as to what were the challenges he was facing at that time. So on, on 25th of uh, January 2018, uh, the, uh, the two climbers again started their summit push and they were um, somewhere in the afternoon, they were spotted at about 8,000 meters uh, just below the trapezoid, the final stretch uh, towards the peak of Nagaparbat. And after that, the, the weather got cloudy and there was no trace of the climbers and obviously there was no uh, visibility as well. And for the next 24 hours, there was no contact of the two climbers with the base camp. There were no indications whether they have reached the summit, or are they coming back. Probably the base camp staff understood the fact that they had to uh, lower their altitude as soon as possible, so probably they're just uh, speeding up their way down the mountain and so they are not really uh, contacting the base camp. On 26th of January 2018, Elizabeth Revolt's family in France gets this set, set phone message uh, that they're stuck at 7,200 meters and they need uh, rescue. And obviously this was uh, shocking for, the, for Elizabeth's family back in France who were so, so far away. So a lot of communication was done back and forth between the, the Polish and French embassies in Islamabad and the, and the, the uh, Pakistan aviation authorities as well because, because they did not have uh, deposit money for the heli rescue. Um, they were stuck at 7,200 meters with uh, Tomak was partially snow blinded and uh, had other physical uh, conditions as well. So there was obvious delay in, uh, in dispatching these helicopters towards the location. Then they had to go towards the K2 base camp, pick up the climbers, and they have to drop them in the Diamir base camp. And they had to do the refueling in the middle as well. Dennis and Adam were picked up from the K2 base camp, and they were dropped at the Amir base camp on Kinshofer route um, at Camp 1, 5,050 meters uh, on January 28th at 4.50 p.m. Uh, it was already evening and we understand that in winters obviously the sun goes down early and so 4.50 means they had barely one hour of light to go. And in this time, uh, Elizabeth had already spent two nights. Uh, she had spent one night in a snow cave when she was descending down and waiting for the rescue, uh, rescuers to come over to her. And, but they were not able to do it the next day on the 27th. So she had to spend the night of 27th again uh, in a crevice uh, so, so she can shield herself from the, the fierce winds and all that. But during this coordination, uh, the, the, the rescuers and Elizabeth's coordination has been going on in, during this time and they have asked her to abandon the Messner 2000 route and come down on the Kinshofer because it's, uh, it's a straight way down rather than if she goes all the way to Messner 2000, it's a huge traverse across the mountain and it's a long distance. So they said if there is any chance to, uh, to rescue Elizabeth from the mountain would be to on top of the Kinshofer wall. So in the late hours of 28th of January 2018, Dennis and Adam were able to climb the 400 meter near vertical Kinshofer wall Without fixed rope, they had to just X out the, the, the fake old ropes. They were buried in the ice and they had to just manage their way up, uh, which is unprecedented and which is uh, an amazing feat in terms of climbing. And this was the first time also that 
Kinshofer route was, Kinshofer wall was climbed in alpine style in winters. And uh, on top of uh, Kinshofer wall, they were able to find Elizabeth waiting for them. And so they were able to bring her down and she was rescued. And, but sadly, obviously, uh, the two climbers were not able to reach Tomak. His altitude was way too much for them to risk their lives trying, trying to, uh, to salvage Tomak. And all, obviously, we understand that already two nights have passed. And considering the fact that Tomak's uh, uh, physical condition was uh, really, really bad. He was snow blinded and he was throwing up blood, which means he had an extreme uh, condition of pulmonary edema as well. And he had frostbite as well. So there was hardly any chance that Tomak would have been alive, alive by then. Um, so this was the rescue operation that actually happened. And uh, the only proof Elizabeth gave to the media in terms of their summit success on Nanga for the win in the winters for the first time in 2018 was just a small video clip made by her. Uh, she was panning the camera across and uh, she was standing somewhere near the tr on the trapezoid or somewhere close to the trapezoid. They were going uh, up on the mountain and we can see uh, that Tomak was uh, behind her uh, somewhere around 100, 100 feet behind her. And uh, later in the interviews with the media, she uh, claimed that she has been on top of the Nanga Parbat along with Tomak and they actually made it to the summit. And so a lot of questions have been asked whether there have been a summit success on Nanga as claimed by Elizabeth or um, because there is no evidence, uh, there's no documentary proof of the summit success. They do not have a photograph of anything. Uh, the two of them standing on top of uh, Naga. Uh, first of all, we think uh, the most uh, important statement uh, in this regards is obviously of Elizabeth Revolt. Um, we understand that she is a celebrated climber. She had an uh, amazing profile in terms of climbing these high altitude mountains in Himalayas and Karakorams. And uh, she, she was doing, uh, she was attempting Naga for the fourth time in winters and Tomak was doing it in, for the seventh time in winters. Uh, so their, their account is obviously credible. There's no doubt that Elizabeth, what Elizabeth is saying is not true. We have no, that Elizabeth may be faking a summit success. Uh, the second most important thing is because we have known Tomak very close uh, personally. We, he was a good friend of ours. He used to stay with us in Islamabad whenever he used to come to Pakistan. And uh, um, Tomak was a was a was a pure climber. He he was he was he was the kind of climber who actually do it for the for the passion, for the sake of climbing, and for for the love of it. And one of the logical uh, reasons uh, in support of the argument is the fact that Tomak actually lost the, the the battle because he pushed himself too far for the summit. And the reason that he was able to reach the summit is the, the exact reason that he was not able to come down because by, reaching, by, by the time he had reached the summit, he had lost so much uh, in terms of physical strength and capability that he was not able to come down on his own the way Elizabeth was able to do. And also because the fact that Elizabeth is a, is a fitness trainer and she's a fitness freak, we have seen her. Uh, she has amazing stamina and amazing energy in the mountain. And, uh, but Tomak obviously was, was someone who was, who was struggling with life. He did, didn't have the, that kind of a fitness uh, um, schedule to follow. And obviously he was not physically as sound and as strong um, in the mountains as Elizabeth. Uh, has been in all these days. So the reason that Tomak was not able to come down was probably because um, he just wanted to do the summit by all means. Had it been the other way around, if Tomak was the one who was in better physical condition and Elizabeth was suffering, it would have been easy for Tomak to carry Elizabeth down all the way to the top of the Kinshofer wall. But because Elizabeth is, doesn't have such a strong build, um, that he, she would be able to carry uh, Tomak or help him, for that matter, coming down to all the way to Kinshofer Wall. Um, so we, we have every reason to believe that 
uh, the two of these climbers were able to, to ascend Nanga Parbat for the first time in winters in 2018. So this concludes our report on this, one of the most viral search and rescue operations in the history of mountain climbing. And uh, not only has it been important for us because of the fact that Tomok was a very good friend of ours, but it was also, uh, this event was also coming a full circle for Pakistan Explorer in terms of uh, uh, media coverage of the high altitude expeditions in Pakistan. I hope you like it. I will be back with more content. Thank you.